Hi, I'm Perry from futureofcleaning.com and we're getting down now into the nitty gritty of brush design uh, using all the different brushes from the beta brush packs. Now, most of you don't know there's over 500 beta brush packs out on the marketplace and most of you probably think that you've got the same as everybody else, but actually we've been changing the beta brush pack as we've gone along and this is going to prove it. Every brush started with a block like this. Now, actually we've changed the block four times as well. Um, so it's not all the blocks are not the same, but, but they'll look similar. And then from there, we're going to talk about bristle length and bristle trim. That's what this video is about. So you can see here, some of you got this black brush with a very short bristle trim. And then you'll see those of you have got the gray one. You'll see that the bristles are actually longer and then the blue one. And then the current beta brush pack has a very uh, long bristle trim. Because from a feedback point of view, what's the benefits of the longer bristle versus the benefits of the shorter bristle across all the different range of the four styles of brushes that we've released. Similarly, if you come over here, you'll see what we've done with the dual trim. We've got two different trims here, and basically they're starting with a shorter trim, and then there's a middle size one, and then the current dual trim is this one here, and we're using quite long bristles as a starting bristle, and here there's about just over a centimeter difference between the inside trim and the outside trim, whereas the current one we're using about two centimeters difference. So there's lots and lots of things that, that change. Now, what we know is this. The shorter the cut, the more um, firm the bristle is. You could push down on that and this brush feels like it's got a lot of scrub power because it just doesn't collapse at all. It's, all the bristles are there, they're very short. The same density of bristle um, on a longer one, you can see is that they've got more give in them. So we're trying to work out, you know, from your feedback, which conditions are better with a shorter trim and which conditions are better with a longer trim. And then we can get some feedback and start designing and saying, okay, we need to do this, or we need to do that. Now, on the dual trim, the reason we have dual trim is because the bristles behave differently. If we have a dual trim, the short bristles in the middle basically scrub the glass. They stay stiff and they, and they scrub the glass. And the longer bristles on the outside will push up and splay. And they'll actually kind of dig at the glass. And the inside ones will stay and scrub the glass. And similarly with the longer bristles, you'll see that the behavior is quite different again. The, the longer bristles will splay more. And we also know, if you have a look at this brush here, we've done a dual trim with a very soft brush. So some of you got this brush. And a lot of people were really scared of soft bristles until they realized how much agitation power there is. So when we get creative, there's some ideas that we've got about brushes that have never been made. And we want to give you an idea, for example, this one. Now, we've cut this by hand, so it's not the best cut, but you can see here the idea of having one set of long bristles on one side and a set of short bristles on another. And when you watch this brush work on the glass, you know that the splay is only going to go on the upstroke and the downstroke can only be a scrub. So there's some things like that where you can take your beta brush and actually trim it off yourself. Remember, there's about 15,000 bristles in this brush, so you're going to cut seven or eight thousand bristles if you take it on. It's a little bit tedious, but you can start to experiment with the beta brushes and start designing trims and experimenting them with, with, with different working surfaces. Okay, so what does all this mean in relation to waterfed brush design? Well, it's about agitation, agitation efficiency. That's what we're looking to achieve in getting your feedback in designing brushes. So, we also recognize that it's not about having the best brush, it's about having the best brush for certain jobs. What we got is a whole lot of feedback about this black brush. And it was all to do with areas where irregular cleans, like once a year, areas where there was uh, bead poo, for want of a better word, uh, fly poo on glass, stuff that we know is really hard to get off. And we got a lot of feedback that this brush is the only brush that they've ever had that could actually cut that off without having to revert to a blade or some sort of chemical to soften it. So we want to make sure that we understand when does a long bristle 
make effective agitation? Is it on regular cleans where you're going every six weeks, every three months, something like that? Does the long bristle give you any leverage? Or should we stay in the middle with a middle length of bristle? Uh, we've made some decisions where at the moment we're running with long bristles, but what we want is that feedback from you about getting the bristle length so that you can maximize the speed of your agitation and linking that to certain tasks, hydrophobic glass, hydrophilic glass, colonial or French panes, um, soft washing buildings. Again, you might want a really firm bristle with a monofilament. You know, um, what about the dual trims? When do the dual trims work? When don't they work? What should be the difference? Could we make different uh, dual trims? Because uh, we can produce these brushes in a very economical way. So we can, we can really have different brushes for different jobs thereby giving you the opportunity to be able to source the right brush for the right job when you start chasing new work for your business and then bringing in new revenue.